telling stories. Tonight it's a mystery story. It's really scary. It's called Not Guilty. The verse I have for you tonight is Psalm 116 verse 6 and it says the Lord protects those with childlike faith. I was facing death and he saved me. I was facing death and he saved me. You know God is the judge of the whole earth. You know that. He is the judge. He has the last word. That's why we can trust him. We don't have to be afraid. If we get accused of something we didn't do, we don't have to be afraid. Well, this story happened a long time ago in the late 1800s. John worked for a very, very rich lady in a big mansion. She had lots of servants in Exeter, England. And one day, the little rich lady was killed. Someone murdered her. And so, of course, the detectives got right on the case and they checked out the whole house and they checked out all the servants and and um, they found an axe with blood on it in John's closet, the room that he stayed in. And they found blood on his clothes. And so they hauled John off. And John said, I didn't kill her. I did not kill her. They said, there's blood. We found blood on your clothes that hauled, her, hauled him off to prison. And then he had a big trial. It was a very big deal in England. Everyone was following the trial. And he had a trial and this and that. It, it went, time just went on and on. And finally, they said, well, John, do you have anything to say before he pronounced sentence? He says, yes, I'm innocent. I did not kill the lady. My boss, I did not kill her. And all the jury had heard it, and they all said, no, he's guilty, he's lying. And so the custom was for the judge to put on a black hat. So he put on a black hat and he said, death, 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 you are going to die at the gallows. We're going to hang you on the gallows. And so they went and put him in prison, they set a date. Well, you know, John was really worried and he prayed about it and he says, Lord, you know I'm innocent. I didn't kill that lady. My boss, I didn't kill her. And so he was in prison for a few days, weeks before he was going to be hung. One night he had a dream and he woke up and thought, oh, that was such an impressive dream. This is what he dreamt. He dreamt that they came to get him and they had him handcuffed, handcuffed together. And they took him out, they took him out this back door and there was a walkway made with a wood, wooden walkway, it was new lumber. And he was walking along and there were roses planting, planted by it. And they walked clear down and then into another door and turned left and went out. And then there was another path and there were some lilies growing there. And then they walked him to the gallows and there were 13 steps up to the gallows. And he walked up and they put a rope around his neck and they put him there. But when they went to pull the trap door out from under him so he would fall, the trap door didn't work. That's what he dreamt. He thought, oh, that was a strange dream. Well, in just a day or so, they came and got him. They said, this is the day. And you know, the people from the city had gathered on the hill across the way from the prison because they knew they, that he was going to be executed that day. And there was a flag that they would fly, a black flag when a prisoner was going to be killed. And they were flying this black flag. And so they came and got him, handcuffed him, took him out the door and down the hall and outside. And he looked, he said, I've seen this before. This was my dream. It was new lumber that had they had made a path. He was walking along the path. There are roses there. He went into the door, turned left. 
He says, this is my dream. I am walking in my dream. And he went out the door and then there was another path and there were lilies there. And he said, this is it. And that was where the gallows were. And as he walked up the steps, he counted the steps. One, two, three, four, five. There are 13 steps to the top. And he said, I bet the trap door is not going to work. And so they put a rope around his neck and took him over to the gallows. And they said, do you have anything else to say before, you, before you're killed? He says, yes, I'm innocent. I did not kill that lady. And they said, well, they've already sentenced you. And so they pull the trap door and it wouldn't open. Now, oh, that's strange. And so they try it again, they pull it again, it wouldn't open. So he says, well, um, we've got to grease the hinges. They're not working. So they put grease on the hinges and they try it again. He said, well, let's try it with a bag of sand. So they put a big bag of sand there and they pull it and the door opened and the bag of sand fell down. They said, okay, it works now. So they close it, they put him there, they pull the trap door, it didn't open. So then they said, what are we going to do? So they said, well, come down for right now. We have to figure out what we're going to do. So they sent word to Queen Victoria and they said, we went to execute this man and the trap door wouldn't work. And we tried over and over and it wouldn't work. What shall we do? And she sent a message back. She said, give him life in prison. So they said, okay, we're not gonna kill you. You're going to have life in prison. So they put him in prison. Well, he had a girlfriend and his girlfriend was praying and praying and praying for him and he was praying. And do you know what they discovered? Uh, a year or two later, they discovered another lady, another servant had killed the, the uh, mistress. And she was dying. And on her deathbed, she said, I'm the one that killed uh, my boss, the lady, the little rich lady. I killed her and I put the blame on John, the young man. That's what she said. And you know what? Jesus saved John from being executed because Jesus knew John didn't kill that lady. Well, then when she gave her confession, so then they went and told John that they were very sorry after he had already spent some time in prison. And so to make it up to him, they gave him $50,000. Now back in the 1800s, that was a lot of money. They gave him $50,000 and you know what? His girlfriend had waited for him and they got married and they moved to Australia. That's a true story because I read it from um, a man and it was his dad was a little boy there and he remembers it because it was a big deal in Exeter at the time. God is the judge and he knows everything and we can trust him to be with us. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you so much that John wasn't executed because he wasn't the murderer. Oh Lord, please forgive us of our sins and help us to be really close to you. Thank you so much for Jesus' sake. Amen. Thank you.